Oh man, it's an exciting lesson today. First off, I wanna shout out my new members. So if you guys don't know, you can now join as a membership. We have a lot of perks you guys can check out. So shout out to Jim, uh, that was my first member, and then also to Edwin and Mark, who literally signed up just before I started recording this. So shout out to you guys, we'll do our Q&A soon. You guys get exclusive videos, so thank you for that. So in today's lesson, I wanna show you this system that Dan Wilson has come up with to go from scales to arpeggios and then into constructing lines and obviously then full solos. And this ties in with the course we just released. There is a discount, it's $100 off for the first 100 people to buy. At this point, about 50 or more people have already grabbed that. So you guys definitely wanna check the link in the description if you're interested. But even if you're not interested in the course, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff today that will change how you think about the fretboard and give you a framework to mastering this fretboard, which you can do yourself. The course basically just helps you do that in a lot of ways with Dan and a lot of his awesome lines. So we're gonna go through the system. So the first step is thinking about this as descending scales. So this is module one of the course. We're gonna do this over F melodic minor. So if you don't know um, your F melodic minor, it's you can think about it like an F major scale that has a flat third. So we're talking about F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E natural. Okay, so we get a lot of really cool jazz sounding chords off of this melodic minor scale. So one of the first things that Dan does to this is we go and play that scale on one string. So we'll do that on the high E string. F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E, and F. And for each of those specific notes, we are going to play our F melodic minor scale descending and then going down here. And what this, what happens from this is we basically create a path, kind of like a, a flow. I think of that like a river flowing down. And no matter where we are on our fretboard, we basically connect into that river that then flows back down. So I'll give you a couple examples. We're not gonna go through the whole thing because that would make this lesson really long, but I'll give you a couple examples so you can see. So if we start on the fifth here on C, our descending melodic minor scale would sound like this. So as you can see, we're not trying to stay in position. Once we catch into that river, we, we kind of move down basically four notes per string pretty quickly. Then say we were gonna do it on D, so on our sixth up here, we would sound like this. So you can see the last two strings of that were exactly the same as the position before. We're just catching into that, and then we shift, and now we're in the previous position where it's the same. So what does this do? It really reduces a lot of the uh, memorization and, and uh, muscle memory our hand has to do because we're not learning a whole new position for each of these, just playing up and down strictly vertically. It has this horizontal, almost diagonal really, flow from starting here and then we catch back in. So we build up a lot of muscle memory with like this ending pattern and it lets us really play our scales pretty fluidly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect that, this playing descending scales, which is horizontal type playing. Next in module two, we are going to think vertically. That's how Dan calls it. And we're going to think about our arpeggios in some interesting ways and some combinations of those. Once we have both of that, the descending scales and then the thinking vertically, what we can do is we can start to construct lines combining those two. So we'll get to that as well. There's a lot more in this course, different scales, um, a lot of different examples going over different standards, solo studies. I picked out three, one from each of the modules that we can all tie together just so you can see how powerful this framework is. So let's do thinking vertically and we'll do it over the same scale, but we'll think about the chord as a B flat Lydian dominant. So B flat seven sharp 11. So we have that natural, that E natural. And the thinking vertically pattern that we have here, we are basically doing different groupings um, from an arpeggio, it's like three note groupings. And this gives, gives you the ability to sound a little bit more rhythmic and almost like a drummer. Dan refers it, it helps him think like a drummer in doing this. So 
I'll play for you this first example. So we're, again, using the same notes as F melodic minor, and we can have B flat, D, B flat. Then we can do E natural, G, and D. So we're thinking about this as like a one, three, and seven pattern. That's how Dan refers to it in the course. And so that's almost like E minor, E, G, D. But in this context, it's our sharp 11, 13, and third. And then we can move from there to G, B flat, E, A flat, C, G. We could do D, F, C, E, G, C, G, B flat, E, even A flat, G, A flat, C, G again. So we get this. always play these as triplets, they're grouped as triplets for the sake of organization, um, but you could do these as eighth notes or sixteenth notes and combine them then with other lines. They actually sound really cool on their own, just as this, just like that kind of pattern or mi mixing up the rhythm that way, but they also work really good as launching off points for creating lines. So that's the next thing we're going to look at is taking a look at how some of these arpeggios then can lead us into the descending scale that we were just working on. So the first one I want to look at is this C, E, G, B flat. This is a pretty standard C dominant arpeggio. But we're thinking about it in the context of this F melodic minor. And then we're going to hit our descending scale. If we're thinking in, say, this, this position. For our last example here with line construction, starting with that A-flat augmented triad, we're in this E-flat Lydian dominant sound still. We're going to use this, A-flat C, E, A-flat augmented, the G. So you can think about this as like augmented major 7, like major 7 sharp 5. get you really comfortable with just moving rapidly through the fretboard um, with no with no issues you're not gonna feel like you're stuck in position because it's like you get caught like I said in this river and you're just like moving down if you want to move down and you're hearing a line that descends you just go there so like So that's just a real quick demonstration. Obviously there's a ton more in the course, especially when it's combined with other scales and the solo studies of Dan going through a couple of great tunes, including a rhythm changes for like 10 pages. There's also a bonus blues study with Dan going through the blues and showing you his best lines over blues. So the amount of material in here is incredible. I've been, we recorded this in May with Dan and I've been just transcribing all of this and getting this together since then. And I can tell you my own playing, this is what I'm working on. I'm working on the stuff that's in Dan's course and really shedding all of this because he's clearly a master and has such facility over the fretboard. And I'm just glad we got him on camera breaking down his whole method. So I hope you guys check it out. Again, you can check out the link in the description. You can join as a member to the YouTube channel if you want. Hit like, subscribe, comment, and do all of those great things. Again, shout out to my first few members. Really appreciate it. Jim, Edwin, and Mark. Thank you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Till then, I'm shedding more of this, these lines. That's one Dan showed me.